for the candidates who cleared UPSC mains examination, Sarath Chandra IAS Academy is conducting interview practice sessions and a unique training program for UPSC interview. So, the fundamental idea of this program is that every candidate is different, unique and they should not lose their individuality or personality while preparing for the interviews. We believe that you should be able to present as you are, present yourself in a better way rather than putting an act in the interview and trying to be somebody else in the interview. So, this is the fundamental idea of conducting the uh, interview program. So, here we would be training you in six different dimensions which will be tested in the UPSC interview. One thing is situation based questions. We would be spending some time with each candidate asking them certain situation based case studies wherein they have to react and respond and tell how they would behave in certain situation. It can be as a district magistrate, it can be as a police officer, it can be a income tax assistant commissioner or whatever role you are in, how do you respond to certain situation. Then stress, stress based questions. Sometimes in UPSC interview, not all the panel members but one or two panel members may try to ask you questions mostly we may not know the answer of. In such cases, we need to be telling them that do not know the answer in a fine way in a relaxed pattern. I mean some students I have observed generally go into a stress if they are unable to answer more than 5 or 6 questions. That should not happen. Even if one or two panel members are trying to put you under stress, you should be able to face, this, face that thing in a relaxed way. So then the reasoning based questions or reasoning round as you call it as. In this, we will be asking you various questions particularly to identify the reason. For example, why, why are you wearing this kind of dress or why you studied so and so graduation or why you have chosen so and so job or why a certain you know a state government is doing in that way. I mean why, the question of why. So, you should be able to identify the reasons. You should be able to tell the reason why it is in that way or why you are doing in such a way. This is one round, the reasoning round. Then the rapid fire, we would be, there would be some days where we will be asking you questions quickly like a rapid fire round. So, you will not have much time to think about an answer. In such cases, how do you react? In such cases, generally you may not be able to come up with the best answer, but you should try to come up with a good answer. So, this is another round, a rapid round. Similarly, there will be an opinion round, opinion based questions. For few days, we would be asking you your opinions on various issues happening around you. We will be taking some social issues happening around us or political issues or economic issues or any international issues happening around you and we will be asking you your opinion on such things. Even in your district, in your state, why it is happening? What is your opinion on that? So, this is very important because it is required for a civil servant to have his or her own opinion on issues happening around them, the opinion round. Then solving the dilemma is the next dimension we will be focusing on. There will be some cases where you will have a dilemma of how to react, what path you have to choose. Generally solving the dilemma requires a logical thinking or what is your ethical base with which you will solve the dilemma. For example, if certain law that you have to implement in your district is against your concerns, against your ethics, your values, how do you do it? Just, just one case, the same question may not come, but dilemma solving round, dilemma solving sessions will be held. So, in that way, the stress round, situation based, the rapid fire, reasoning round will be there and then opinion round and then dilemma solving round. In this way, the six dimensions we will be training you while you have to you know practice for this interview. Then we have a unique way of actually conducting these things. One thing is mock interview. Mock interview is just only one way of getting trained for the UPSC interview. Of course, at Sarachand Rais Academy also, we have the mock interview, the infrastructure is a simulation of the actual interview of UPSC. We made a similar kind of table, similar kind of you know surroundings environment so that you would feel the same as a UPSC interview. And also the members in our interview panel 
or you know combination of retired bureaucrats and young bureaucrats who have just entered into service and some senior bureaucrats along with them we have kept some professors also. So, that you know the mindset of asking questions would be varied will be different. So, you would be trained in different angles while answering those questions. But mock interview as I told you is only one way of practicing for interview. Second thing is group discussion. We will have a round table group discussions on the hot issues, important issues happening around us. Through group discussion, not only you will get a chance to you know tell your opinions in a confident way, but also you will learn others opinions, others points which you can use in your actual interview. Similarly, we have infrastructure for a mirror practicing. So, student who comes here can sit in front of a large mirror and practice answering some questions. The reason being as you observe yourself while answering you know what changes you have to make. Not only mirror round to observe yourself you also have the video recording. For example, whatever interview you do with us you will be provided with the videos. So, that you can see your own interviews and you can develop you know wherever you think it is necessary you will be developing. Also, we have a one on one feedback sessions where the mentor will sit with you and he will discuss with you various, various DAF based personalized questions. We will be taking your DAF in which or only on hobbies there will be some, some sessions, some discussions only on hobbies. What hobbies are you pursuing or what hobbies have you written in the DAF form, how to practice for them, how should you actually really inculcate the hobby. If it is not there, if you have written a hobby which you, you are not really practicing, how to inculcate them in the next few months. Then you know on your educational background, I mean academic background, professional background, I mean the job, job profile. Based on this, we will be personalizing and giving you set of questions on which we expect the interview may go around. Also, your the region you came from, the district you came from, the state, your family background. So, on these aspects, on all the aspects of DAF, we will be giving you the personalized questions of around 400 to 500 questions. If you practice those things, then whatever question comes in the actual interview, most of them will revolve around these questions because it is around the DAF. Similarly, you know some debates, some just a minute jam, some you know elocution. So, you know these kind of things actually will improve your communication skills and make you more confident. What happens is friends, most of the you know interview practice in sessions, some students actually try to change themselves because even some in some places some mentors are also misguiding the students by telling them that they have to completely change their personality, change the way they sit, the way they talk the way they see. But if you completely change everything then you are no more yourself. The idea is to be yourself and fine tune by you know you know by eliminating the minor shortcomings in you and increasing the confidence in you. Also we would be practicing with you you know set of previous questions just like how for the prelims and mains you go through the previous years question papers to understand the pattern of examination. We will be giving you the various questions asked by different panels in the UPSC in the last few years. So, that you will have a broad idea spectrum of what kind of questions are coming. So, there will be some classes exclusively on those issues. So, in this way you know with the mirror, the video recording, then the group discussion, personalized feedback, one on one mentorship and the mock interviews, debates, elocution. In these ways you would be prepared holistically in 3 to degrees so that you will be able to face interview in a better way. So, we are connecting it both in Hyderabad and Vijayawada for offline students and for online students we have a separate batch where we will be connecting the same thing over our online platform. So, even if you are not in Hyderabad or Vijayawada still you can make use of our services in these aspects. So, all the best friends, all the best, prepare well.